All right, so I'm gonna make a video after deleting the IAC right here and the fast idle air valve. They're both deleted with a block off plate and I also have my coolant lines here directed straight down to the heater core pipe. So there's no coolant going to the throttle body, there's no fast idle air valve, and there is no idle air controller. I also have my EGR down there smashed and deleted, so that doesn't work either. This is a full cold start. It's about 40 degrees outside in November. You might have to rev it a few times. Uh, the IAC has been deleted for years, but this will, this will show a full cold start with all that stuff going. All right, now that is with no throttle input. All right, so it will die. So you have to give it a little, a little feathering of the, of the throttle a little bit. So I'll show you that. I'm holding slight throttle on there. All right. As you can see, you have to be the idle controller on a cold start. So you're going to have to hold it a little bit. Hold around 1500 2 grand. Obviously, it's got some rich enrichment in there. And then as it calms down a little bit, I'm able to back off the throttle. All right. Obviously, it's iron block, so it's going to take a little bit to warm up. But this is what you're going to have to have to deal with when it's fully cold. But I can back off the throttle, and it will find itself. So that's what you're dealing with. This is no idle control from any valves or anything. This is just strictly cold start and you running, running your end adjustments. So there you go. These are uh, 272 cams, Kigley Springs of retainers. So obviously it's going to have a choppier idle and I have my idle set around uh, 900 or so. I might bump that up a little bit to around 1100 uh, just so for cold starts. But uh, it's now cycling better now. Obviously you're going to have you know, a minute or two of where it doesn't like itself and it's going to find itself. So I want to do a full cold start in cold weather because that's what you're going to be affected the most. So there you go. Uh, yes, this is a Mirage. This is a six bolt swap Mirage. But uh, DSM Link V3 Lite, uh, all the vacuum lines are disconnected, and uh, that's pretty much what you're dealing with.